So a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was contacted by someone from uh, Elegu, I believe that's how it's said, um, and they wanted me to look at some of their stuff. So they've sent me their robot car kit, version three. Let's see just what's inside it, just from looking at the box. So there we go, we've got the uh, software, code, PDF and instructions on, I'm guessing. Pretty cool. Just, uh, some of the social media stuff. Um, again, components, screwdrivers, so servo. Uh, that looks like the, yep, the main Arduino frames of the operation. Uh, remote control for it. Looks like infrared. Uh, looks like a little wireless board. And what's this? Uh, not sure what that is. Uh, cables. And just below this. Screws and standoffs. The uh, ultrasonic sensor. Uh, some other board that looks like a servo board. Another servo board. Or a motor board. Uh, USB cable. Uh, here we have the charger. The batteries here. box that attaches and here some more screws standoffs um, some more screws standoffs all labeled very nicely so you know where it goes big hefty motors That's cool the wheels uh, which feel very sturdy and they feel cool that's awesome. That's cool. And of course the main chassis. Uh, whoa. That feels really good. Cool. That's very nice. So yes, thanks to Elegy for sending me this. What I'm going to do is build it up and then try and put something cool on it. Um, I've been trying to think about what I can do with it just to make it something original but yeah the quality of this stuff is really good even the, the box you get it in once it's all built you can reuse it for something else electronic storage um, yeah these are all really good parts especially the chassis this was really cool um, and these wheels it'll be really interesting to see how well this goes over different uh, sorts of terrain so uh, get building okay so I'm just looking at the CD here uh, it's got instructions in five languages uh, it's got the parts and names, it looks like a wiring tutorial video. Um, so the parts and names are all here, very handy. Just make sure you've got everything and a general overview. And also each stage of uh, building the car has its own instructions in a PDF file. That's got step by step what you need to do there. Set it up, very easy to follow, very nicely laid out. So yeah, it's time to start working my way through this, step by step. So the first part is really satisfying, it's peeling the stuff off the acrylic. That's the most part. Okay, so for each uh, motor, let's get a little Metal block, put it on the side where the wires come out. Metal block goes in, two hex screws through. Get a hex screw, yep. Put that through there, shove that through there. And put the nuts on the other side. Done. It's just that times four. So next up is putting the motors on the base. Uh, so you want the motor bit facing outwards. 
and the wires facing inwards. So let's get that in. That's that. Just do that another four more times. So next up is attaching the L298N module. So let's put the washers down in place first. first and then screw them on later. Screw that on and then just do the same for the other three. And then it's just a case of plugging in the motors. And there we go. Okay, so next up is the line tracing module. Take these gold bits and put them through the bottom of the board. On to hold it on. Once they're all on, run that on the bottom with the variable resistor facing forward. Let's go on there. And boom, it's on. So now we're on to the other base plate. Um, we've got the Uno. Expansions, which will be for all the sensors and stuff, because the Uno on its own doesn't have enough I.O. for everything. So we want the base plate this way, and the main chip facing that way, so from the left side facing that way. There's four on there. Spaces on in between, and then the nuts on the bottom. Okay, that's on. That's just a case of taking the IO shield and make sure it's the right way round. So, on that way round, chip there, that facing that way. Put that in, and done. So, next up, we're attaching the battery cell box. Let's just make sure that top bit's off. Um, and this goes on to the front here, just a case of taking these and dropping them through the four holes there. Just plug that on. Screw that in. Plugging it in to the top of the I.O. board. Cells in, make sure they're right way around. It's indicated on the box. This needs to boot it up already. So find the off switch and off, and then plug this bad boy on the top. And there we go. Now we're on to the micro servo, which I believe. For the ultrasonic module to make it look around. Just put the wire through the middle. Yep, that matches. That way up. Put two of these little screws. And then get the little nut on the bottom. Screw that in. And then it's on the board. Looks like that goes through the square hole. In like that. Three of these go through the bottom. Bigger bolts. So that's on. And the next bit. And we're on to the ultrasonic. Uh, okay, that looks like what I see. Got the orange wire facing out to the left. 
of the board, and on. Now it's onto the extra point module. Let's see if we can get this bad boy. Put on there. These little mini screws. Pop them through. And then just tighten them up with the little screwdriver. And that. And that's by getting a self tapping screw. For the wires, which are on this handy bag. First off, we want four cabled one. Plug it into the back of the module. And then it goes onto this one here. So we'll only connect one way, so you can't get it in the wrong way round. And then we're connecting the L298 module up to this board. So, so, that way, that's the front. Goes in there. Through the hole into this part of the I.O. board. Power from the L298, which is the remaining two plug on there. Just put this in through the hole here and through. Try and make it as tidy as possible. That goes into the one marked L298 power, which is there. Then we've got the line tracking module, which should be the last plug by the looks of it, plug into the line tracking module, like so, and through here, and up, and into the plug called line tracking module on the I.O. board, nice and easy, and then it's a case of getting the Bluetooth module, and there, plugs into where it says Bluetooth on the I.O. board, a little protective bit of plastic on there, cool. And now it's a case of putting the two parts of the chassis together, where it's these, each little copper cylinder, we have two nuts to go with it, so it'll be placed here, screwing from the bottom, like so. six of those. Now the cylinders are on, it's just a case of lining up the holes on the top chassis, dropping in the screws, and then screwing them all in, like so, and then just do that six more times for the top. Here's the bit I've really been looking forward to, it's the bit with putting the actual wheels on. So, more wheels, stack them up, Slotting the wheels onto the motors. There's only one way they'll go on because they match the shape of the motor output there. Okay, so one thing I've noticed is that putting these on uh, can take a little bit of firm but careful pushing on once you've matched the shape. Make sure that, there we go. Obviously, just be careful not to apply too much force. And there we go. And then take the mini screwdriver, drop through the middle of the wheel, and then just screw all four of them in, like so. Once those are screwed in, that's the car built. Um, it's 
really easy. Uh, it only took me about an hour. You pretty much watch me just follow it from the instructions. Really easy, really fast, really fun, and really good quality as well when it's built. It's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna give the car a test with some basic code that's been included. Uh, so first you need to remove the Bluetooth module if you're uploading by USB, according to what I've read in the instructions. Um, so it's a case of getting the USB cable, plugging that in there, get in this one, and plugging that into there, sit light up. Uh, obviously make sure the battery's off before doing that, uh, if you don't want two uh, power supplies going in, although I think this I.O. board may be able to handle it and selectively choose what power supply it's using so it doesn't overload it, but I'm not going to test that. Um, and then it's a case we're going over to the CD here. Uh, going to the lesson one and making sure you have the Arduino IDE installed and then auto go open that up and then it's uh, basic test code I think just to make the car go back and forth just to make sure everything's working so control R just to verify and compile that and that looks fine, and then control U to upload it. That's done. So that's a case of unplugging from there. Let's put it on the floor here. Power on. And there you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Easy, easy. Whoop. Oh my god. There we go. So it definitely works. So in just an hour and a half, it's gone from being in the box, all the components separate, to being completely built with a really easy to follow PDF guide included on the disc. Uh, there's more code on the CD, such as Bluetooth control, infrared control, line tracking, and obstacle avoidance. So you can dive right in, start learning the code, start seeing what it does, and getting it moving straight away. So it's really quick to get this running. Thanks to Elegoo for sending me this. And what I'm going to do is have this as my review video, and then I'm going to do a part two where I've added some hardware to this, maybe Raspberry Pi, thermal camera, something like that. Something just cool and a bit unique to do with it that's even cooler than what it already does, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to put a link for the car in the description from Amazon. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and also hit the little bell icon so that when the next video goes up, when I've added some hardware to this, you'll be informed. And yeah. Really cool.